to everything that occurs to us. When I say everything that occurs to you, there's only one thing that occurs to you, which is sensation. Nothing else has ever occurred to you. Please see, rest of it you just made up in your mind. Hello? Yes. yes. The only thing that really occurred to you as experience is sensation of cold, heat, pleasantness, unpleasantness, pleasure, pain, all kinds of things. The only thing that ever happened to you is sensation. If this sensation or this basis of all our experience has to become a profound possibility, you must listen to the raga, the tune set by the existence. It's not our making, it's not in our hands, it's happening. Isn't it great that you don't have to worry about the tune? <laughs> huh? yeah. One of the greatest worries of every musician is the tune, always he's going off. <laughs> To stay on the tune, it takes years and years of, exp you know, practice. But here the tune is set, we don't have to bother. Tune is perfect. Sensation is already given to us. Only thing we have to find is a rhythm. If you find the rhythm, then every experience becomes a profound experience. If you don't find the rhythm, every experience can become a miserable experience. I'm telling you because tomorrow we're going to Kailash. <laughs> and today you've been in Manasuro. <laughs> Every experience can become a miserable experience or a profound experience depending on whether you found the rhythm or not. The other two things, one is fully set, nothing to do. Another is available. Third one is all you have to do, Bharata. So the entire culture focused on this, people thought they were nuts because they spent so much time closing their eyes. People thought they're stupid people, why don't you enjoy the world? If you want to enjoy the world, you must have profoundness of sensation, isn't it? Yes. Otherwise, how will you enjoy the world? Everything on the surface. If you sit here, if this sunlight can penetrate to the core of who you are, it will become a very profound experience. <coughs> because you don't get it at normal temperatures, that's why I'll end up dunking. <laughs> you see, it went deeper than normal shower, isn't it? <laughs> because this is all a human being can do, that use the faculty of sensation that we have and allow it to go to the very core of who we are. This is all you can do. <coughs> this can happen with a touch, this can happen with sunlight, this can happen with water, this can happen with food and drink. This can simply happen without anything, because without anything in particular, because there is no time when there is no sensation. In wakefulness and sleep, there is sensation. The question is only, are you available? That's the only thing. So when we say Shiva, we say he's a dancer, that means he found his rhythm. Because he's found his rhythm, he's become the most profound being that you can think of. Finding the rhythm, tak tai 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 tak tak tai tai, you know, not like that. With every step that you take, you have known this in your own life. When you find rhythm in the step, suddenly it's such a joy to walk, even if everything is hurting, it doesn't matter, yes. isn't it? Yes. <coughs> when you don't find the rhythm, suddenly it's such a clumsy, painful thing and it's useless and you wonder, why did I come? <laughs> yes or no? Yes. It's happening. The moment you find the rhythm, anything that you're doing, from a simple walking step to just anything that you're doing, suddenly has a different dimension to it. This is why always Shiva represented as a dancer. That means he's found his rhythm. So all you have to do in your life is to find that rhythm. The tune is already set, nobody can do anything about it. That's the compassion of the existence. If we had to set the tune to all this, 
<laughs> what a misery it would have been. <laughs> Fortunately, it's all managed. You just have to find the rhythm.